K-I-L-R Killer Games All right, we are back for some more crafting of mines and mine crafting uh, pumpkins and all that other good stuff with uh, grass, grass and sand and stuff. And I'm Killer Gamer, and beside me is the creeper, creeper, the creepy, creepy nerd gamer 2K. 2K, 2K. Who can? <clears throat> and just in case you're new to this uh, video, in the previous episode that we had, we created a random world with large biomes. Um, I had mentioned that it was four times the size of a um, normal biome. It's actually 16 times, but what I wasn't thinking because we were going through the custom customization and it's like four times more than the normal one. You have to consider four times in the different directions. So it's... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. so, so it, and in the end, it, you've got 16. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Large biomes are larger. <clears throat> and uh, we spawned in a plains biome, which you see in the picture there. At these coordinates, x negative 60 or 657, y equals 66, and z equals negative 433.5. You're probably thinking, what in the world? Who cares? Well, I don't know. Some people kind of like to know where they spawned. It's like, hey, this is where I started, right here. So, I know, it's a thing. We just threw it in there. Who knows? We might use it. We may not. And we're facing south. In case you are wondering. In case you were just wondering which direction we were facing. You never know. You might want to just kind of sit back and imagine you are in our world. Which way were you facing? South. Yeah. <laughs> so our first survival task was to find wood. Because you can't do nothing if you don't have wood. And as you can see from the picture there, well, there's no, no wood. tree. Yeah. And we're not playing 1.9. Or the snapshots at the moment to where, you know, the uh, twigs that grow in the sand and the desert. You can actually break those and get twigs. And with the twigs, you can make wood. You can? Yeah. Huh. And the and the new one that's coming up. That's that's nice. Yeah. Of course, by the time people are watching this, that one could already be out by now. But, yeah. Uh, oh, knows? well. Anyway, we need it wood. Can't do anything unless you have wood. Yeah, you can punch dirt. You can try to punch zombies. You may not get very far, especially when you're playing hardcore, but, uh, yeah. So, we went, we ran, we ran, we ran, we ran, and walked, and we finally found a forest in the far distance, as you can see there in that picture. And that looks like a big forest. That's pretty much what you get when you play large biomes. And in case you're wondering, that is not a desert over to the left. That is a beach. Because in large biomes, a beach is really is a beach. It's not just a few blocks of sand <laughs> on the side. And uh, we went ahead and we punched some wood. We made a crafting table. And we crafted some wood tools. Because got to have wood in order to get the things that you need to get. We built our first shutter. Shel shutter. Shutter. Yeah, we shuttered when we built our shelter. Because it was a dirt hut. It was scary. Scary. Yeah, you know, it's got some dirt. Uh, built into the side of the hill. Um, you know, we weren't trying to make some masterpiece castle or something like that. We just wanted to make sure we had a shelter uh, before it got night and monsters started coming after us because, hey, when we're dead, we're dead. Right. At least in the game. I sure hope it's not like that in real life anyway. Well, okay, I could go on. I won't. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we did some quick mining for stone. To build a furnace, furnace is important if you want to make torches so you can not be in the dark where monsters can spawn. 
And so, on the episode that we're doing today, now we're going to be farming for our food supply. Because without food... There's no supply. There's no supply. And without supply, uh, well, your health is going to go down. Not a good thing. I should have just blew that down. <sighs> All right, let's, uh, let's just talk about some quick fun facts about Minecraft. All right, so Minecraft was inspired uh, by three different games. It was inspired by Infiniminer. I believe that's how it's pronounced. This pretty much inspired the whole mining aspect of Minecraft, as you can see from that screen right there. It's all blocks. Is that when you're in space? This? Yeah. No, that's not Minecraft. Okay. Well, I know, but there was one game that it was blocky, like kind of like that, and it was in outer space. I don't know. Like spacecraft. That or might something. be. Talks about team war and stuff. I don't know. I've never. I don't know. It I've never actually like it. played it. I wouldn't mind playing it. Just uh, you know, make a video and stuff on it. But yeah, so it takes uh, inspiration from that. It also takes inspiration from a game called Dwarf Fortress um, because it was an open world game. Um, it was uh, like glitchy. procedurally generated. It was always random. Um, so you know. The whole open world aspect of Minecraft was inspired from this game. And then you've got Dungeon Keeper. Um, and with Dungeon Keeper, that inspired the whole monster aspect uh, that's in Minecraft. So kind of some interesting tidbit stuff uh, with Minecraft, just in case you didn't know. And now that you know, now we're going to go do some farming. Run out here, turn around, see if there's anything out here. I don't see see anything okay where's our hoe at let's put our hoe <laughs> that sheep popped up and I thought it was a creeper <laughs> the sheep bah. I got you man I got you all right let's um let's go ahead and make our garden we'll put that right here just to kind of start off with so what you do is you take this and you right click to start tilling the land. Next to water. You don't have to put it next to water, um, but if you want it to grow, I recommend that you do. At least somewhere close to water. And as we get going, we'll start making a better garden. Um, these wild grass here just Clear your area out here and you'll get tons of seeds. This is what we're doing right now. See that? Uh, it's good to clear them too because they kind of blend in with creepers. Yeah, uh, this will help with you being able to see stuff. So, eh, Clear this out a little bit here. And you got yourself some seeds and we'll go back over here and do some more tilling. Get up! Seriously, get off my... <laughs> it's laughing at you. Yeah. Like, I'm going to turn you into chop suey or something. Well, you're. Pork chop. Pork chops? Pork? No, that's pig. From, yeah. There are pigs. You can get lamb from it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Lamb. Kill it. You need food. Or, uh. <laughs> Don't need food yet, but it's not too bad of an idea. We did get one block of uh, lamb. No, uh, wool. We're gonna need to make a bed. Actually, it doesn't really matter if we make a bed or not. Bed helps you respawn your. Um... No, actually, it helps. Yeah, because you can sleep through the night, and if you can sleep. Before things spawn, it'll yeah. make things make things easier. Okay, we definitely need more wood, so let's get cracking here. Or chopping. <laughs> make sure that's me making that sound and not something else. 
we'll use uh, mutton to. Now, the, what I'm going to do right now is get wood so I can make a ladder. So you want to start getting some resources. Iron is a big thing. You want to start getting iron so that way you can make iron tools. You can never have enough of it. Ah, apple. apple. Apple's good. Yeah, there's... There's a bat over there. Yeah, iron... Iron you will use a lot of. Get some more seeds. Uh, let's just keep getting wood. Wood, 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 wood. Something that I like to do is with the saplings, I like to replant them where they were. Who does that? I don't know. I do. <laughs> I like to do that just to kind of keep the keep the forest pretty. You know, put it back the way I found it. <laughs> Although the <fun laughs> the th cool thing about this game being open world is you can totally be like uh, a jerk and like deforest an entire area. Like if I wanted to, I can just go through here and tear down this entire forest. You can burn it too. Yes, that is true. You can burn it. We should do that. Not yet. We should be like, okay, once we're done with this area, we're going to totally, like, burn Demolish it. Demolish it. <laughs> Set TNT. it on fire. From a distance. A really big distance. Also, these trees have a tendency to drop apples, too, which is great when you're first starting out. Like, right there, I, I like... When your hunger go goes down a couple, eh, it's time to eat an apple or, or something. Your hit points, that's what the hearts are. They don't go up unless your hunger is up. They need to be filled up. Well... They kind of go up if, well... I think it goes up maybe slowly if there's one missing. Or it well, only goes up to a certain part. On easy when it's like half. Like half of an ab and above it heals hearts. Yeah, but this is hard mode. No, or it's hardcore. Hard <laughs> yeah. I know you can die of hunger when it's in hard. You can die of hunger in any of them. No, actually, I, I read about that. Um, hard is the only one that you can actually die from it. The other ones, it'll take your health down to one heart, but it not any further. Oh, I wonder why I died then. I don't know. Old version? Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. How many sheep we got here? I thought I saw a lot of sheep. I think we can afford to kill a few more. Come here. Ah! I mean, okay. Get one more thing of wool. Normally I would go get iron and get uh, sheep shears. But uh, I think we can spare a few. See, now we got meat too. Um, get yourself some sand too, because you can make glass. And then that way you can make windows and then you don't have to sit there and make a dirt hole or something to find out if it's daylight outside. And, uh, I don't know, let's get some flowers. We'll, we'll decorate the place up. Alright, that's enough decorating. <laughs> or getting stuff. Hey, let's get some roses. No, go home. Yeah, all right. Go, well, go back to your cave. Go back to our cave, cave before it's too late. Build a door. Not yet. Yes. Remember, we're we're on hard mode. That means that uh, zombies can break through uh. doors unless they're iron. Ah, 
All right. Let's see. I don't see us having the need to make anything with apples anytime soon. You can do golden apples and stuff, but uh, I don't see the need to do it. All right. So select your food, right click. Um, here's a tip. Point at something that you can't use. So if you're going to try to eat an apple and you're pointing out a chest, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> do it next front of the furnace. That's what's going to happen. Or a crafting table. That's what. Okay. So if you're gonna eat, if you're gonna eat, make sure you're pointing at something that you can't use. All right. Uh, okay. So what are we doing now? Let's put our oak saplings in there. We've got wood. We got plenty of coal. So now we don't we don't need charcoal anymore. Although what I like to do when I don't have a whole lot of coal, I will. Yeah, we'll just put that in there. Take half of it. I'll put one thing of coal in here, and I'll burn as much wood as I can so that I can get charcoal. And then I'll use the charcoal with the sticks to make torches instead of using up the coal. So that way I've got the coal. Because charcoal doesn't last as long. Well, yeah, charcoal doesn't doesn't last as long, as, but um, eventually I'll get a lot of coal. But for right now... Um, we're going to need torches, and so I'd rather uh, make the charcoal uh, so we can do our torches and, and save the coal for smelting iron and stuff like that. All right, so that while that's going, let's make ourselves plenty of sticks. Lots and lots of sticks. We'll save those. All right. We got a lot of sticks. Here, let's put some of our stuff away. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. I know what we're going to do here. Well, we got our torches, so... Okay, let's put our seeds there. Tree there. Seeds there. Uh, flowers. Stuff. We'll put that over there. We'll put that right there. That's scary music. Let's make that bed. Alright, so this is how you make a bed. Put your wood on the bottom there, just like that. Wood planks. Then you're going to take your wool and put it up on top like that. So... Think you have think of it this way. You've got a wood base, you've got cloth or something on the top that you <laughs> sleep on. Okay? So that that's how you make a bed. Boom. The tricky part is where to place it. <laughs> Which uh can't really place it here. Maybe we'll place it Yeah, we'll place it down here. Do do do. Okay. In order for this to work, you're going to have to put it where something is at least three blocks high. Um, well, it does work with two, but it doesn't set your spawn point. In uh, hardcore mode, it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> if you die, <laughs> you're not going to spawn anywhere. True. But just out of habit, um, I just put it under something three high. So in order to make this work... You have to, you can't select like this thing in the corner. You have to like, wherever you want it to sit, you've got to put it on the second block. So, so if I want it to go like this, I need to click there. And then there's the bed. And if I click on that, then, or use it, it'll take me until the next day. Not too worried about that at the moment because we are going to make a ladder and start working on our little mining. <laughs> I think. Oops. Oh, that was dumb. I just used a whole bunch of my coal. When I meant to use this! <sighs> We're already owned. Ah, I'm already owned. Let's make those... Uh, jack-o'-lanterns 
and we will set those outside when it becomes daylight or something. All right, so we're going to make some ladders. This is what you do. <laughs> Pretty much make an H, just as if you were making a ladder like that. Um, you may be wondering, why in the world all these numbers are... I'm just... You can right-click and take half of it, and I kind of just do that just to... I know, it's just quicker for me. My goodness. I've been drinking too much soda, I think. What do you mean? Oh, I just keep having sounds coming out of... <clears throat> <sighs> Boom! Okay, we got 33... <sighs> He's like right outside. I know you're in there. That uh. would suck if they could punch through dirt. That would just totally suck if they could punch through dirt. <clears throat> Let's see. Our axe is almost gone, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a stone axe. Hey, we are moving up in the world. We can actually use this nearly uh, devastated axe, wooden axe, and we can use that as a fuel source, too. Put that right there. Oh, let's see. We got one stick there. Blah, 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 blah. I like to carry a couple of stone axes. Stone pickaxes with me. Just so I can still mine when one's broken. Uh, okay, let's do some cooking. We'll use charcoal for this. Let's grab our... I was going to say, let's grab our glass. No, that's sand. <laughs> it's wannabe glass. It wants to be glass. It really wants to be glass. And this this dirty shack we have here, we're going to turn into a house um, eventually. Uh, now, these zombies that you're hearing outside at the moment, they will burn up when the sun comes out. Provided that they're not in shade and they're not wearing some type of head armor. Or in water. Well, they do burn in water, but as you saw, the water will live. put it out. So, so eventually. They don't burn in water. <laughs> eventually, it will take them out. Although it might be a little slow. Okay. Um, cook your meat if you have a chance, it will fill up more of your hunger bar. As opposed to eating it raw. And I can't remember if I read. If you eat raw meat, does it... Is there a chance that you can get sick? I, I it remember. depends on the meat that you eat. You can eat zombie meat, by the way. I don't recommend it, but you can. If you have no other alternative. I think it's only the beef that makes you sick. Hmm. We'll have to... We'll have to check that out. All right. Make use of you know what we could use. I was gonna say we could use a stone sword. Let's do that. Let's get a stone sword. We'll use our wooden one for, um, you know, maybe we'll, we won't use it to fight uh, mobs. In case you're wondering what mobs are, those are like mobile. Any, any creature that's mobile, pretty much. There's a specific thing, but that's simply what it is. So we can use our wooden sword for, like, cows and chickens and stuff. Yeah. We'll use the, we'll use the stone sword. That's what I do. Huh. It's not like it gives much of a damn difference. Plus four, plus five. Get gold, it's like plus one. Oh, get gold. I thought you said <laughs> giggle. A giggle, if you have... <laughs> if you have uh, it's late. <clears throat> it's not funny, man. Not funny. All right. Uh, let's see. When we go down there, we won't need the hoe. 
We probably won't need an axe, we'll need that stuff. I always recommend when you mine, put some type of cobblestone, dirt, or something right next to it just in case you happen to hit lava or something, and then that you can just throw that block in, in its place. I, you know, I was gonna put I was gonna put the jack-o'-lanterns in here, and then I just realized, you know, that might come in handy down here. All right, let's get to mining. Do, 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 do. This is how we're going to do it. I'm gonna clear out a little bit of an area here. I like this song, by the way. This My song, Venus. Area math. No, this isn't area math. That one's only in creative mode. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I really like that song. But I like this one, too. Is that mice? It's like mice, mice living on... Mars? Huh? I don't know. The name of the song. I thought it was like a really simple song. It could be. Oh... Where's a good place to put a hole? How about here? So what we're going to do is we're going to dig straight down. And we're going to start putting our ladders. Like. Like that. See, I see blocks come up the ladders like that. And I keep thinking, what's to stop a zombie or something to do the same thing? Actually, I think they can. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down... And as you're going down, what I tend to like to do is put a torch off to the side. You can't put it here because it won't let you put a ladder. It's like the... it, it blocks the way or something. Um, get into the habit of not digging straight down that you're, what you're standing on because you can, and that's happened to me, Dig yourself into a lake. Of course, there's always a chance that what you're digging here is right next to a lava lake also. But typically, you'll hear a lava lake, usually. All right, well, I didn't want to go down. There we go. We'll dig one more. So what I did right there, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, because that could be lava. That could be lava. It could be... It could just be a hole. Because there are, like, caves and caverns and stuff in some of these places. And there may not be anything underneath that block. Iron! So you may just fall who knows how far. All right. So we've got iron. I don't think we can dig it with a wooden pickaxe. This is where our, our oops. This is where our stone one's going to come in handy. Alright. So now we start getting our iron. Iron is good. So when you see iron, just start getting it. And you will see that we will start building a lot of stuff with iron. Okay. Well, that looks good. Let's go ahead and close this up. And we'll come back here and we'll start digging some more. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay. We will. Ah, see, I hear something. There's probably a cave or something in here. Coal. Coal. All right. Down here, we'll put another torch. I hear skeletons. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this coal here. Oh, I was going to say that experience meter that you're seeing. Um... When you die, you lose what's there, which is not good. Uh, we're in hardcore mode, so 
we definitely don't want to lose what's there. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. So that is used for enchanting um, and doing stuff with an anvil. And you will be amazed of how much experience it actually uses. So if you're playing one of the other modes, not hardcore or, or whatever, do your best to not get killed so you don't lose the experience that you've been working hard to get. Um, oh, well, we don't have the, the wooden one anymore. I guess we don't really need it. Um, by the way, you notice how we can actually mine faster? So the better uh, the better material that you make your stuff out of, the faster it works. And then you can enchant stuff and make it even better, which is cool. So let's see, we're going to keep going. But by the way, um, if you press your crouch key, for me it's the control key, you can go, well, I guess it doesn't matter because you're on the ladder, but... You can go right up to the edge of a block and not fall. So that kind of comes in handy. Oh, I knew what I was going to do. I was going to fill up these holes. The reason why I like to do that um, is so... And I've had this happen several times to where I think I'm on the ladder and I'm going down. And then I wind up like going back part of the block and then falling so I try to make it just one block width, so that way you don't have to worry about falling down. I don't know. How do you do it, Nerd Gamer? Like, I normally, like, dig down. Well, I mean, I dig to the side, then I dig... Yeah, like, I do it like that. But I've had it to where it's, like, uh, like two wide or something like that. I don't um, do that. I just do one wide. I've put ladders and other types of places and stuff, too. But, yeah, so we'll fill that up there. Eh, this, now look, this looks like a good place to put another torch. Probably wondering, okay, how far do you go down? Okay, we're going to get to that. Let's get this iron. I think zombies are misunderstood. I think they just have a, a stomach ache or something. And they want a hug. They just, no, the creepers want a hug. Just want a hug, man. All right. So I was telling you about where to go in the level. Now, there's two ways to find out where level 11 is at. Um, if you're playing, let's say, the Minecraft Pocket Edition or the Windows 10 Edition, which I'm actually, we're planning on doing a video on that also just so you can kind of see the difference between the two. Um, and there's not lar large biomes on the Windows 10 Pocket Edition anyway. But you can dig all the way down until you hit the... Um, what's it called? I, I forget. It, not base rock, ground rock. Bedrock. Bedrock, that's it. I know it started with a B. You should think Flintstones, bedrock. <laughs> um so yeah, you get all the way down to where it's bedrock. It's, I don't know, it looks like a stone that's got like black stripes or something going through it. You can't break those blocks. Um, and then you just go 11 up from there. So you could do that. Or you can use, and this only works for the Java PC version, hit F3 and this will bring this up right here. And if you look... Uh, on the left side there, you'll see X, Y, Z. Uh, go underneath that, you'll see block. Right now I am on block negative uh, 1029, which is the X, 42, which is Y, and negative 392 of uh, Z. So we're interested in the Y one. So we're at 42 at the moment. So we need to go down 31. So we have 17 things of ladders. So if we were thinking, okay, if we made 
So what's uh, 16, 15, 14? 14. Okay. 14. 14 more things of ladders. That'll get us all the way down to 11. <laughs> all right, so we'll continue doing this. I should probably fill that up, huh? Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. There are different mining techniques, but I have found one that works really, really well. It's called Phoenix Style Mining. Um, I have n never had a problem getting diamonds with it. There are other there are some mining techniques where it's like dig in a straight line and then make branches off of it. Um, and that's all fine and dandy, but once you start making branches off of branches, then you get lost. Yeah. And you don't know how to get back. But this Phoenix mining one, on the other hand, it allows Whoa. Whoa. Okay. okay, this is why you don't dig underneath you. Because you never know how far of a drop it might be. All right, so we have a cave system down there. Yeah, let's not go down there. Whoa. Block it. No, they're not going to be able to climb up. He can shoot, though. They can if we're standing right there. Okay, this is where it gets fun. Now we got to find a way to kind of get around here. Let's see. Let's go back this way. We'll throw a light in here. Uh, hmm. I knew. Fences. Make fences. I'll show you why. That is like the fastest I've seen climb up a ladder. Really? Yeah. What if it's nighttime? <laughs> it's nighttime. It's allowing us to sleep. And if you're a monster, like me, you might be interested in seeing some of these other videos in which those nerds get owned by a bunch of monsters. Or you could do something really scary and subscribe to get alerted when more videos come out. And if you don't subscribe, then you won't survive, because I'm coming for you.